Welcome to the Mixed World Championships from Academy Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts. I'm Paul Green along with Bob Lee. We have Calvin Locke, who last won it in 2019 when Canada was here. Yes. After COVID and not off last year, you're back to defend your title? Yes, back to defend the title for sure. JD Seamless Gutter Balls. Yes. So how was your trip down here? It was good. It was uh, nice and smooth, nice ride. It was nice, sunny out, so it was good. Didn't hit anything wrong. So. You're the co-host of Ripping the Rack Podcast? Yes. Tell the viewers how they can watch it. They can watch it on without, all without, without, other podcasts. Without Brian's please. voice. Yeah, I don't need it. Without Brian's voice, it doesn't take the effect. So tell us about your highlight of your career, high, best highlight of your career so far. Oh, uh, def probably winning the world for the first time. I think that was 2015. So now you got a grudge match with Tim Matero. You said you're going to beat him this time. Oh, they won, absolutely. They won it last year with Penny Lane. Yeah. Your thoughts against going against them? Oh, it'll be tough for sure. They're a tough team, absolutely, but we'll be ready. We got this. Good luck tonight. Thanks, buddy. All right, so it's 21 strings over the next three days. We'll have five today. Starting 9 o'clock tomorrow on Sunday, 10 strings tomorrow, 6 on Sunday, 2 points for a win, 1 for tie, no playoffs. We'll get underway here now from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. The Mixed World Championships underway. Hubs Motorsports from Maine will be on the left on lane 33. JD Seamless Gutter Balls on the right on lane 34. Bob Lee, welcome. Hey, Paul. Great to be with you again. This is where it all began last year. US Invitational. It was a lot of fun. I know the name's a lot better this year. Eric McWiggin will start in the right for JD's Seamless Gutter Balls. Vanessa Huff will be on the left on lane 33 for Huff's Power Sports. It is. And runs away, and it's a start. A spare for Eric McWiggin. Vanessa almost. It does go. A spare. What a start. Two spares. What a way to start the match. First of 21 strings this week and underway from Haverhill, Mass. Vanessa from Burnham, Maine. Richie from St. Albans, Maine. 113 career average. High single, 176. Wigan on the bonus. Gets five. 15 after one here. One string each match. Vanessa Huff gets seven. That's the four, seven, and the six to the right. Nick Wigan, open. He'll turn 36 on June 26th on Sunday. Vanessa, good try. Leaves up the four and the seven. Here from Moncton, it's a nine, 24 through two. Yes, up a nine, 26 through two. Two pin lead for Huff's Power Sports. Two blocks at a time. Here's Brooke Betteridge for JD's. Ryan Hogan the left from Evan. Huff's team, Matt, Huff's Power Sports. Orchest with one, seven, nine, and ten. Two pieces of wood. Four that time for Ryan Hogan. Ryan is 20 years old. Work is open with a one, nine, and ten. Hogan throws up the same foot on the right side. He's up the five and the eight. One good piece of wood in between. Work better reach a nine to start. And a 10 for Ryan Hogan. Ryan, average of 108, career best 116. High tournament, tournament average 127. High single of 176. High triple of 430. High five of 643. Betteridge, second box, first string, gets four. She's teaming up with Amanda Carroll. Long time double crown. There's a lemon drop. One dollar for Al Johnson's kill pitch for cancer. Ryan Hogan. Rook, nice ball, but he's up four. Rook from Stockholm, Maine, originally from Biddeford, Maine. High single of 191, high triple of 447, high five of 725. Hogan leads up six. Rook a tough seven, 16 through two. Hogan with a 7, 17 after 2. 
Each match is one string. Again, two points for a win, one for tie, nothing but total, no playoffs for the rights to the Mixed World Championship 2022. The World Tournament will be here in November also, first week in November, Academy Lane's April Mass. And right now, it's a three pin lead. The Huff Motorsports on the left. Here's Jill Wood, sensation from Canada, turning 42 July 30th. Christy Hapworth. Kid six. Nice bid by Jill, won't go. We just had Brian Hogan giving us giving the dollar for uh yes, I did. for his lemon drop. Yeah. What is open? Christy in the hole. Gets a ten to start. Christy, nice out, 10, pretty shot, pretty shot, Bob. Jill Wood, for, from, let's see if I get this right, Quispansis, New Brunswick, Q-U-I-S-P-A-N-S-I-S, Quispansis, New Brunswick, Canada, originally from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Fireball, a 118 average, high single 181, high triple of 456. Goes left, gets a break, has the one and the three. Christy Hapworth, on the head pin, another ugly split. Five, oh, six, man. and ten. Christy, a 110 league roller, high single 178, high triple 422, high 10, 12, 21. Jill Wood gets it for a spare. 20 the ball through two. Christy, good effort. He's up to six and a ten. Cabin lock on deck with JD Seamless Gutter Boss. Christy with a 10, good hitting, 20 through 2. One string for two points, one for a tie. Total point getter wins the Mixed World Championship. Hey, it's King of the North. Calvin Lock. Yeah, looks like King of the North, Calvin. Cabin Lock, 118, average career best 127. Goes right. He gets five, has the diamond plus the 10 pin. Here's 19 year old sensation Kai Hunt from Burnham, Maine, which is from Guilford, Maine. Calvin's open with a 1, 3, and the 10. Kai Hunt, 39 mile per hour fastball. He's up the 1 and the 7. Calvin also 39 mile per hour. Gets a 7 box to start. Close to Ripping the Rack podcast with Tim Matero and Ryan Adler. High hundred nine. Calvin's high single two oh four. High triple of five fourteen, a Canadian record. High five seven seventy. High ten of fourteen ten. Goes out of Moncton, New Brunswick, going since nineteen ninety five. Nice ball there, strike! What a shot that was! Seventeen plus two through two. That's That's the three and the six. I have 119 career average, high single 188. At the age of 14 on December 9, 2017. Pretty impressive, 188 at age 14. High triple 449, high five 672. He gets it. He's got a spare. 19 of the ball through two. Kai's high five 672 during Junior's MSCBA tournament. Has a high 10 of 1247. And here's Dave Godwin with a high single of two. The notes here. Long anchor. It's eight. Wobbling two and a four pin. Matt Huff, who just pulled recently the men's money match in Belfast, made it all play as the pack of five. That one is fair to start. Dave Garwin, 32 years old, high single is 235. Average of 120, up is open, the one and the two. Dave Godwin, high triple 486, high five 784, high 10, 1414. 14. Goes here out of Academy Lane, Stable Mass. He's won three world championships. 
Man up a 10, good pinning so far overall. Yeah, yeah. Like a sponsor, Merriman Valley Foot Specialist, Dr. David Greenblatt in Haverhill, 62 Brown Street. God, what a nice ball! Nine. 19 up to one. Hop goes right as the one, two, five, and the nine, one piece of wood. And up from Vernon Mean. Turns 35 on July 14th, missed opportunity. Dave Goblin, single pins, according to Spread Eagle, production stats convert 72% of the time for pro bowls without wood. Huff is open. Match average 120, career best 122. Goblin and nine, 28 through two. Scoreboard on your screen. Huff, 10. Two 10 pins, 20 through two. One string matches. Five today, ten tomorrow, six on Sunday, both nine o'clock starts on the weekend. Back to the top of the order. Bob, your thoughts so far on the match? Bob, well, are you with me? Well, it was, uh, 105, 102 after the first time through the order. That's like a, that's like a game, you know, for a pro bowler, 105, 102. Uh, but we have uh, Calvin Watt working on a strike, Jill Wood on a spare for JD Gutters, and we have uh, two spares for Huff Power Sports. One of them. Would you absolutely Actually, yeah, one spare that uh, Vanessa Huffs was. That's her spare 79, and now she has a missed opportunity there for a spare. Eric McWiggan, nice ball, leads up to 5, 6, and 10. He had a spare 5 and 9, 24 through 2. Vanessa 9, 35 through 3. McWiggan 7, 31 through 3. Again, Eric again on Sunday will turn 36 years old. High average, career high, 142 average was career best. That's an amazing stat. 142, right now 124 bowler. Huff, nice ball, has the five and the nine. Nick Wigan, uh, five, four, and seven to the left. Three pieces of wood. First time to see some of these uh, yes. Canadian bowls. Yes, well, so, saw a few of them at uh, Easter Classic. But, uh, Huff for a spare. Oh, they got robbed by the cap. Eric, try to kick it over. He's got a spare. 26. Correction. 41 of the ball through four. Second spare of the string. Nest up an eight. 43 through four. So right now a three-pin lead for Huff Motorsports. Two points for a win, one for a tie. Three to one edge on the marks now. Only a three three pin lead, but three uh, two extra balls. Work its help back door. That's the one and the seven on lane 33. Here's Ryan Hogan. The one nice bounce back leads up the four and the eight. Rook, nice shot, pretty shot for a spare. 26 in the ball through three. Hogan to nine, Ryan's at 26 through three. Brooks high single, 191, high triple, 447, high five, 725. Pulls up the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Hogan gets five. Brooke, Force from right, the one, not anymore, it's just a three pin now, one, three, and six. Seven fill, 33 through three. Hogan leads up the one, the two, and the five. Nice shot for Brooke, another one. Two spares in a row, 43 and a ball through four. Hogan, nice out for a nine, 35 through four. It's a hopping hit today, Bob, so far. Yes, 22 teams to our left. Uh, two, two in front of us. 20 more to our left. And every lane in the middle section here at, at Academy Lanes is full. Here's Christy Hapworth. Two tens to start. A lemon drop. One dollar for Al Johnson's Candle Fits for Cancer. On a spare. On a spare. Jill Wood. 
Three two split, 25 from two. Then on the head pin has the check mark. Christy. Some wood to help. Good try by Jill Wood. Got the three on the left. Jill Wood, 118 average, high single, 181, high triple, 456. Half with a 10. Three tens, 30 through three, good pinning. And Jill Wood, a nine, 34 through three. Jill bowls on Fairview, Bowling Lanes, and St. John, New Brunswick, Canada. A lot of accomplishments. Six time New Brunswick Ladies Provincial Champion. There's a Clary, the Christy Hapless special we call in Maine. She actually made one this week for the first time in a while. Jill Wood, six time Brunswick, New Brunswick Ladies Provincial Champion. She gets the diamond, minus two. That's the five and the eight. Eight time Ladies International Champion. She's open. Jill, four time New Brunswick Mixed Provincial Champion. Three time Can Am Championship winner. Part of the 2019 Mixed World Championship team here. Oh, nice try, wouldn't go. As a young bowler, Jill is a two time youth bowling national champion, also. Great accomplishments. Eight for Christy Hapworth, 38 through four. Jill would a 10, 44 through four. Kai Hunt. Nine on, nine on his field there. Big fill of nine. Calvin Locke. Oh, almost another one. He's working on the strike. Working on the strike. Has the king to the five pin. Hunt for another one. He's got it. 19 year old Phenom. 28 through two. 38 the ball through three. Locke's failing strike. 27 through two. 37 the ball through three. What a start from Haverhill, Mass. The Mixed World Championships. First of 21 strings over the next three days. Calvin Locke, a three-time world champion. Huh, a lemon drop in the spare. Ouch. Another dollar for Al Johnson's candle pins for cancer. Three so far. Tough one, Phil. 39 for three. Locke. Tough split. Six in the fill. 43 through three. Locke has the Christy Hapworth special. Cleary. Calvin Locke, two-time provincial champion, four-time national champion and a 2019 mixed champion as well here when they last appeared in the Mixed World Tournament. Hunt and eight, tie at 47 through four. Calvin Locke and nine, 40, 52 through four. So right now it's a 25 pin lead. Plus two Matt Huff spot, Power Sports, and what's the spare spot? And then we have uh, both Eric and Brooke for JD. Working on Mark, so it's 25 plus two. Matt Huff on the right on lane 34 here in Haver, Mass. Brought to you by Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, Dr. David Greenblatt. No lemon drop there. Yeah, 20 is first two. Dave Godwin. Then hit. Dave 28 for two at a spare nine in the nine. Huff gets the one and the nine left. Godwin right down the middle. Huff. It's nine. That's a 29 through three. Dave Godwin is seven. 35 through three. Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, proud sponsor of the Mixed World Championship. 62 Brown Street, Haverhill, Mass. 978-556-9700. That's 978-556-9700. That was foot surgery done last December. The years of pain. Is. Huff, almost a strike. Godwin, off to the right, gets five. Matt looking for his first mark, pinning well. Two tenths and a nine on lane 34. And he missed it to the right. He missed opportunity. Oh, 
Oh, what a shot for Spear! Pretty shot for Godwin. Forty-five in the ball through four. Second mark. Matt Huff a 10, 39 through four. Again, Merrimack Valley Sports Specialist, 62 Brown Street, Haverhill Mass, 978 556 9700, where there's no pain in all gain. Okay, 23 plus three balls, the difference after uh, after two complete times through the order. One string matches. Right down the middle, first ball of the fifth here. Wicking three in the fill, 44 through four. Finesse up an outstanding bowler for Maine. At 43 or first four. Eric's open. Eric rolls in Moncton Fairlanes. He's a 2.7 Comet bowling balls. Two time world championship. It's an eight. And Vanessa for nine. Vanessa 52. Eric McGuigan 52. Half. Again, high, Eric's high single again, 219, high, five, high triple of wow. 478. Again, 124 league ball, 142 is best ever. And a 2 2 split. First time seeing him down here in the States yeah. for me. It's, it's a, a treat to see them. You hear all the names, good to see them in person. Triangle plus the 10, Vanessa Up, what the hell? Got a boatload there in the, in the lanes. All right, good try. He's at the 6 and the 10. Huff, trying to get to the 10, will it go? Not quite, good bid. Wigan a nine, 61 through six. Vanessa, 113 league bowler, high single 176, high triple 412, high five 612, high 10 12, 04. Bowls at a 1710 in Augusta, Maine. Appropriate name for a bowling alley. 10 box for her, 62 through six. Ryan Hogan on the left. Brooke Betteridge on the right on a spare. Only one, got away. 44 through four. Hogan, right-hander, throws off his right foot. Has a 3-2 split. 35 is first four. Brooke off to the right, needs some work here. Six left. Hogan, he's up the one and the four. Ryan Bolts on the Bears Road Bullet from Halifax, Nova Scotia, 24 lane facility. Work, nice out, pretty out for a nine. Excellent pinning, 52 half. Hogan, a nine. Also at 53 through five. Correction, 44 through five. 53 for uh, 53 for Brooke up that correction. 53 for Brooke through five. I believe it's 25 pins though. So. Ryan yeah, Bones is Ryan Bones is 2010. A lemon drop. That's four today. One dollar for Al Johnson. Skin pins for cancer. Four so far. Three one split for Ryan. Interesting fact: of Ryan got started, Bob. You got a pamphlet. He came home from school with a pamphlet. Brooke had been there school but a local youth league he went to try it out bowling ever since then so advertising works if you want to sponsor cannibal bowling please do so anything to get the kids out oh good try for hogan won't go i've been in touch with uh, ryan uh, i met him through candle pin chat it's the first time i met him in person he's a huge fan absolutely huge fan likes to talk about the numbers with me nine for both bowlers there brooke betteridge 62 through six ryan looking for his first mark 53 through six One string matchup, 21 times this weekend. Nine o'clock tomorrow, live on Bowling Nerd Network, Candle and Chat. Paul Graham, Bob Lee with you live from Haverhill Lane, Haverhill Mass, Academy Lanes. 44 lane facility, brand new restaurant bar. Just opening up today. A lot of leagues here, a lot of pro leagues out of this one. Jill Wood at a 44 through four. That's the one, three, six, and nine. Christy Apple at 38 or first four. 118 league bowler for a spare, two full. Nice ball to Christie, all but the king pin, the five pin. Not, no mark, but pinning really well. Chill Wood splits the uprights for a 10. 
54 half. Terrific bowler. Try it again. Chris Pam says New Brunswick, Canada. There you go. Christian 9, 47 to 5 without a mark. That's pro bowling. Again, Jill Wood, multiple time champion. Again, six time New Brunswick Ladies Provincial Champion, eight time Ladies International Champion. Goes left, gets four. Four time New Brunswick Mixed Provincial Champion, three time Can Am Championship. Part of the 2019 team championship here with Kevin Lock and company. And a two time youth bowling national champion. Just an outstanding bowler. Maddie oh, Kelly off the left and a strike on lane 32. Just back the uh, parallel pins. One, five, three, and nine. Christy, good bid. He's up to five and a seven. Christy pulls a Newport Entertainment Center in Newport, Maine. A very fast house. 2016 Maine State Singles Champion, Open Championship. And Maine State Doubles Champion also with Vanessa Huff. Eight for both bowlers, 62 for Jill Wood. And Christy Apple with an eight, 55 to six. So Bob, update the score. Well, with that, uh, it's a 26 pin lead. They, they picked up one in that exchange. Dave Godwin is the only one working on a mark. He'll be uh, the anchor bowler for JD Gutters. JD Gutters has the lead. 26 in the ball. JD Gutters on the right. Calvin Locke right down the middle. Spread Eagle. For great Canadian bowling, subscribe free on YouTube Here's to Spread Eagle Productions. That's Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. It's free. Tell your friends and family. Watch countless hours. Over 200 videos on, and more after this weekend. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. It's free. I had missed the opportunity. I just turned 19 on May 11th. Great, terrific young bowler. Calvin is second seven box. This string, 59 half. Kai Hunt a 10, 57 half. Kai bowling since he was seven years old. Richard from Guilford, Maine, now from Burnham, Maine. Also was our Newport Entertainment Center in Newport, Maine. His father Brent, I'm interested. Brent's here in attendance. Check mark for Calvin Locke. Hunt, good ball. Has the five and the nine. Ty's just trying to be more consistent and do better at pinning. Locke, nice try, he got it. 69 of the ball through six, the second mark. Hunt is open. Ty went to the World Tournament, age 16 in Canada. Last year, the U.S. Invitational, Lita Lance Nashua gets a 10. 67 through 6. Kai Bull is 672 at the age of 14. He's won two adult junior state titles also with his father, Brent Hunt. He's bowled 15, over 15, 170 strings, including a warm-up string of 179, and then threw a 176 in the first string in league play right after that. Dave Godwin uh, in the bonus. 45 in a ball through 4 on lane 34. First strike! Oh, not quite. Big nine, Phil. 54. Four. Matt Huff. Solid pinning 39 through 4. That's a 3, 6, 7, 8. Two pieces of wood. Taylor made spin. Jay Godwin, his third mark. 64 out plus a ball. Huff is open. That's the three and the eight. Okay. Dave Goblin, three-time world champion. Bowling like one so far here in the first. Two points for a win, one for a tie. One string matches. First of six matches today, 10 more tomorrow at 9 o'clock, live on Bowling Nerd Network. We broadcast on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Followed by six strings on Sunday. Total point getting wins and all, no playoffs. Goblin on lane 34, working on his third mark, 64 in a ball. Yeah! In the pocket for a strike, again, another nine and a half. What a start, 73 half. Huff, good ball there. That's the two and the five. Goblin looking for three in a row, and his fourth mark, and he's got it. What a start, 83. In a ball through six, wow. He leads all bowlers. Huff, good pinning. His first mark. 58 in the ball through six. 
What a start here, Bob, in Haverhill, Mass. Academy Lanes, Mixed World Championship. Reminded me of the uh, U.S. Invitation last year. So exciting, a very boisterous crowd. Feels like an NFL stadium here. It's a one-string matchup, so it makes it, it, things really extra exciting. Pass up open, 62-3-6. Eric McGuigan on the left on lane 33. 61 open. Has the 3-6-10 and the 4 to the left. It's a very good piece of wood to help. Almost got it. Good try. McGuigan trying to kick it over to the 4. He got it. What a shot for his fair. Wow. 71 of the ball through 7. Half a 10. 72 through 7. Twenty seventeen Vanessa Hub Main State Open's double champion with Christy Hapworth. Twenty nineteen Main State Open mixed teams with Christy Hapworth and Matt Huff and Evan Riva. He's on a bonus. Still rolling. Seven. She's open. Uh, she's open actually. My mistake. She's Eric, open. Spare leave though. Eric, Eric's, in the Eric's on the spare lane thirty three. Schoolboy does not switch sides, so they go to the other side. Nick Wigan, just off the head pin, oh, his back takes it away, he has the 247, 78 through 7, Huff, now a spare, 82 in a ball through 8, also part of 2018 Bowlers Choice Tournament Finals with Zach Skinner, Nick Wigan's open, Eric a two-time world champion, it's a 10, 88 through 8 here in the one string knockout. Not a knockout, but one string match. So 21 strings. Could be over by tonight. Be over by tonight, that's the case. 21 strings over three days. Two points for a win, one for a tie. Ryan Hogan trying to get his first mark 53 through 6. On left is Kurt Anton Betteridge. Two spares in the middle, 62 through 6 open. Nice ball. Can't get the seven to go. It's the five to the right. Hogan leaves up the one, three, and the six. 31 mile per hour fastball. Kirk Wilson is five years old, filming on the Big 20, and her father in the Hall of Fame. He's going with Amanda Carroll, his doubles partner for over 30 years. It'll be in the women's doubles event September 10th. Dexter Lane's ex New Hampshire, if you would. Won a bowl, six more openings. 10 a.m. shift, September 10th. Extra Lanes, Extra New Hampshire. Contact myself, Amanda Carroll, Mona Lamar, Mario Johnson, or Faye Sawyer. It's a women's double event, September 10th. Extra Lanes, Extra New Hampshire. Ryan, got a 9.62 through 7. Brooke, a 9.71 through 7. Both off the head pin. Work WCBC Rookie of the Year 2006-2007, WCBC Pro Tour Stop winner at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine in 2007-2008. Open Grand Slam Champion 2006-2007, and he got it for a spare. Got to go. Third mark of the string, 81 of the ball, through eight. Hogan has the one and the five. Ryan, an explosive ball at two. Big, big, big time in tournaments. 127 average in a tournament. Very, very impressive. But struggling here in the first. 70 through eight. Jill Wood on the left for JV, JD Seamless Gutter Balls. 62 through six. Christy Hapworth, 55 through six on the right on lane 34. And a quarter, yikes, quarter wisdom. Wood, nice ball, five, eight, and ten. Three pieces of wood. See how she plays this here. That would, ugh, it's a Paul Grant shot right in the middle, right in the hole. She'll try to kick it over, good try. It was kind of high there. Happa for a big out, and does. Eight. 63 through seven. Jill, what a nice 10. 72 through seven. Eight. 
And Jill, again, a 118 bowler, 181 high single, high triple, 456. Christy Hapworth, off to the left, gets four. Nice bid, won't go for Jill. Christy won the Maine State Doubles Champion Open with Vanessa Huff previously. And also won a Maine State Singles Champion Open Tournament. Wood, use the wood, wooden go. Use up the eight pin. Christy Apple with a nine, 72 through eight. Jill, right on for a 10, good pinning, 82 through eight. Has a spare five in the second. Ty Hunt on the right from Vernon, Maine. The Huff's Power Sports, JD Gutters on the left. It's Calvin Locke. That's just a really funny guy to podcast. Ripping the Rack podcast with Tim and Tara Brian Anthony. Catch their My Little Podcast. I punched up the half push to left, my least favorite shot. 67 is first six. Calvin on a spare. 69 on the ball. Gets six. I get seven. That's the five, eight, seven to the left. Hunts in the hole. Yikes. 76 through six for Calvin. Oh, what a try, almost. I just got a miss here. Calvin a 10. 86 through 7. Again, Calvin Locke, 118 average, 127 career high, 204 high single, a Canadian record 514 high triple, high 5, 770, high 10, 14, 10. Those are Moncton, New Brunswick. Again, bowling since 1995. Hunt has the one, three, and the eight. Calvin Locke, three-time world champion, two-time provincial champion. Nice ball, has the six and 10. Calvin Locke, four-time national champion, a 2019 mixed champion. When they have last of all, the mixed teams. Hunt's open. Another spare. Calvin Locke, 96 the ball through eight. Have a good string. Hunt with a nine. 82 through eight. Anchor bowlers, Matt Huff on the right. The Huff Power Sports. Dave Gottman have a monster string here. 96 in the ball. A correction, 83 in the ball. 36 on the left, lane 33. Dave's high single, one, make that 235, 235. 11 drop, that's five. It's on a spare, tough break. 59 from six. Back door gets nine, what a gift that was. What a start, 92 through six. That's what, five lemon drops, Bob? Six, five lemon, five lemon drops so far. Five dollars for Caleb Fitz for cancer. Carl Johnson, another one. How many nine drops spares is that for Godwin, though? Boy, goodness. Oh, nice shot for Huff. For a 10. 69 through 7. Dave took a 9. Oh, Dave took a 9? Dave took a 9 there. Dave took a 9, okay. He's over the line, apparently. So that's not a spare, that'd be a 9. He went over the power line. So 101 to 7, tough break. Huge lead. 69, right? 69 from that up, 7. Bob went back in the head pin. That would have been a good fill. Half was to left, the 2, the 8, and the 5 to the right. One piece of wood. Man up a 3 2 split. He's up the 3, 6 to the right, 4, 7 to the left. Bob went for a spare. Oh, good try. Thought he had it. Up 8. 77 through 8. Two points for a win, one for a tie. One string matches. 
10 for Dave Goblin, 111 through 8. Back to the top, you go to Vanessa Huff on the left for JD Gutters. Eric McGuigan on the right. JD Gutters. Vanessa Huff, uh, Huff House on the left. Eric, 88 through 8. Vanessa Huff working a spare on lane 33, 82 in the ball. McWiggin, 37 mile per hour fastball, looks good. That's the three to the right, the five to the left. Huff on the bonus, just off to the right. Takes seven, that's the one, two, the seven. 89 through eight. McWiggin, got it! 98 to ball through nine. Huff is open with the one and the seven. 19 high single bob. You can only dream of that. Eric McWiggin. A lot of good great Canadian bowlers. You don't see a lot. I'll hear about it. Great bowlers up there. They got a lot of world championship teams also. Eight for Huff. 97 to 9. Do you know, do you know who's, up, who's up next here, Bob, by any chance? Change is fast. Change is fast. Nine on that field, Nine though. Filth, McWiggin, what a shot. He's at the four pin. Huff on the head pin. Has the seven and the eight. Wood to help. 107 through nine for McWiggin. For another one. Missed it. Huff is fair in the 10th. 107 the ball, McWiggin. Paul Grant Special missed the second, make the third. 117 string. Big lead from JD Gutters. We're going to take the first two points. No points for loss, one for a tie. Total point getter for all 21 swings for the next three days. Now, yikes, uh, half was to left. 109 swing for Vanessa Huff. Burke Betteridge, three spares in the swing, working a spare now in lane 34. 81 the ball. Ryan Hogan, 70 through 8, looking for his first mark on the left. On the bonus, five, 86 to eight. Hogan gets three. Burke won the Open Grand Slam champion in 2006, 2007, winning all six events. Open, Open Eliminations champion in 2008, 2009, 2012, 2013 season, 2013, 2014, and 2014, 2015. Only bowling once lately, so average just dropped to 105, but she bowls a lot, she's very effective. Again, partnering up with Amanda Carroll, the women's doubles event, September 10th, Exeter. September 10th. She gets a nine, 95 through nine. Brooks also won several other state championships. 2013 ICBA champion. Won the 2014, 2015, and 2019 Ladies International Championship. And holds the main state record for mixed doubles. And mixed doubles. I believe. Nine for Hogan, 79-9. Nice ball there for a strike, nine. Not too many strikes so far, Bob. A lot of spares, though. Hogan leaving his first mark. So, the one from Calvin Lark, right? Yeah. Brook, oh, want to go right that time for wood. Sometimes just too much wood, too many roadblocks. Catch all the matches on Spread Eagle Productions later tonight and tomorrow throughout the weekend. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube is free for outstanding Canada bowling. That's Spread Eagle Productions. Hit subscribe, it's free. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Hogan tonight his first mark. That's the four and the ten. Work a nine, 104 string.
Hogan, disappointing strength for him, 88, and Cheryl bounced back in his next match. Christy Affleck on the left, 72 through 8. Jill Ward on the right, 82 through 8. Manny, 82 pin lead to JD Gutters. Their team won it in 2019, Mixed World 2019. First time together since then. Penny Lane, the defending champ, with Tim Matero, Amanda Carroll, and company. That team is loaded. Yeah, they're, they're in a real tight match on the next two lanes over. Joe, oh, what a shot will it go, almost. What a try. Cap with four horsemen. Oh, the wood robbed her there. That would have gone. Jill, nine. 91 through nine. One of the best female bowls in Canada. The update though, next door. Perry's All Stars and Penny Lane are tied on the next day. Well, this one. Uh, if, if we have time after the strings, we'll, sh we'll shift our camera. Oh, oh, if, we can, if we can. Yeah. If we can. Anyway. Same for, for Christy Hopper with 82 through 9. Jill Wood, nice ball, but look at this. Six to the right, seven to the left. A piece of wood to the left. Hapworth in the pocket, nine. Kingpin left up to five pin. Oh, this is the right, good try. Try to edge it on the right side. Uh, Hapworth missed it. That's Matt Huff's sister, by the way, Christy Hapworth. Eight for Jill. 99 string, not the string she's used to having, but I'm sure she'll get it back next string. Nine for Christy Hop with 91 string. Dominating performance by JD Gutters. Their first time back since 2019. Look at their second one in the road they've been a part of. A lot of great teams, Coca Cola and Craig Holbrook. A lot of stacked teams here. Calvin's in a, in a spare at 96 through eight. Lane 34 in the bonus. Only three, 99 through eight. Kai Hunt, 82 through eight, half was to right, the three and the nine. Oh, almost could try. Kai, gentleman shot, guns to the head pin. Again, Calvin Watt, try host of the Rip in the Rack podcast. All things candle pin with Tim Matero and Brian Ather. It's a nine. Hot, nice out. It's a nine. 108 through nine. Calvin Locke. Kai Hunt, 91 through nine. Impressive 514 high triple for Calvin Locke, a Canadian record. High five, 770. With a high single, 204. 2 1 split. Hunt, up to left, gets six. That's the one, three, eight, and nine. Winding down here in this one string match. 20 more to go throughout the weekend. Open box. Hunt could try. Don't forget to get your WOW shirts here at Academy Lanes. Come on down. Get your WOW shirts. Help support Kennel Fits the Cancer. Different sizes. A whole bunch of Frank Luca brought down. Get your WOW shirts here at Academy Lanes Haverhill Mass all weekend long. And a 101 for Kai and a 117 for Calvin Lock as they wrap up their first. Cavalock right around his average of 118. Final two boxes is one string match. 82 pin lead. JD Gutters. Control all on. Godwin, nice ball there. Eight. Matt Huff, 77 through eight open. That's the seven, the nine, the ten. A plethora of wood. Godwin, the six and the nine for spare. He gets it. Missed one on the foul line violation earlier. 121 ball through nine. What a great ball all day. A very impressive high single of 235. And a high five of 784. Piece of wood out of play. 710 goal pole shot. Matt Huff. Matt Bowman men's money match in Belfast. An all play, Belfast, Maine. You can watch it on Spread Eagle Productions. A thrilling 10 string. You can watch it again on Spread Eagle Productions. 
Well, with Matt Mark Webb, they get Paul Dyer and Mark Carrier. Matt, 8.85-9. Dave's clinched the high string for this, for this game. Solid fill, 8, 129-9. Good try there. Almost got it. Another one. Yes. 139, the ball on the 10th for Dave Godwin. What a performance. He looked like it could have been 150 or 160. Not for a spare. Oh. Couldn't turn it around. Ninety-five from that up in the first string. Eight to make it a one hundred pin victory. Looks good. Seven. Oh, almost. Ninety-nine. What a string by Dave Godwin. The whole north from Academy Lanes and Haverhill. A one forty-six first string. They take two points. Bob Lee, your thoughts on the match? Well, uh, Dave, Dave Godwin certainly put on a show. Um, I want to turn the camera over to the next door. It's hard to see, but I see Steve Reno Jr. right now throwing for Harry's All Stars with a 5:23 uh, to 5:15 lead. They're in the finals. Looks like the final five boxes here. Jr. Yeah. Yeah. Evan Riva. Riva with a spare. He's going to need eight in his fill. Maybe we can we've just see the bowlers here. We're waiting for the second string to start. We have to wait for all the bowlers to finish up. So we're going to continue live coverage here. We're going to sign off after the string, I believe, and come back for a second match. Yeah, we will. Um, but this, this, these guys are down to their last four. We got uh, Penny Lane Prima Donna is on your right. You see Evan. Evan Riva. Evan Riva. Right, right, right there, but working on his bonus. He's in the tenth. He's at uh, 108 and this ball. We're gonna strike. No, it's a spare. We're gonna spare on his spare. Spare to strike. Yep. So 123 with that. Yeah, we got the 118 with the spare. And that 123, that's going to change the lead. It's going to be 540 to 533. A seven pin lead. However, looking up on the scoreboard, looks like Jonathan Boudreau is in the bonus. He's the next thrower for uh, Harry Allstar. It's Mike McGinty. Now this is a, that's three in the bonus, so I believe the lead is going to hold. It's going to be a. Uh, Looks like a four pin lead for Penny Lane. McGinty would be open. Harry's All Stars uh, last year, right there, they were 13 and 2 their first 15 matches. They finished in the, in the money round. Yeah. Jonathan Madro, one of the hottest bowlers of late, was 684 in the Kennelfish McCants and qualifying round, the number one seed. Oh, good try. Picks up one more there. That lead looks like it's 550 to 545. Penny Lane Green on with the lead. All right, Bob, you can do the play-by-play -play here. Thank you, Paul. So bonus coverage here on lanes 31 and 32. Mike McGinty, first ball in the tenth. It's going to drop seven, three six. And the four. Here, here's Pedro with his first ball in the tenth. Off, light on the head pin. He's got a check mark plus the ten. A five pin lead for the prima donnas. McGinty gives it a good bit. His ball bounces by the four pin. He'll be open. Pedro, he was right on the two pin, but doesn't get rewarded. Still has three left. It's going to come down to our anchor bowlers. It's like Timmy Matero and John Winchell. Big pins here. Oh, a pair of nine. So it's going to come a five pin lead for the Penny Lane Prima Nines and Tim Matero is holding on to it. John Winchell. Both bowlers were open in the eighth. Matero with a hundred through his first eight. He's bowling on your right. 
This is bonus coverage. Our cameras are not set up on these lanes, but uh, the, the match earlier between uh, JD Gutters and Half Power Sports is over. Victory from JD Gutters. Convincing 99 pin victory. Matero now. Watching right here. Matero takes a reset there. So I was, I'm having a little bit of a problem, so I was trying to take photos of the uh, game. And Matero crosses into the 1 2 pocket. Tough. What? Tough reward. It looks like the uh, 7, I think that's the 7 9 back there with two pieces of wood. Here's Winchell. Comes in on the two pin. Alright, so Tim Matero with the uh, look at his options. He's got two pieces of wood resting between the seven and the nine from what we can see here. He consults with Evan. He plays it back and forth and no spare. Still with a five pin lead though, Penny Lane Primanamas. Last year's chance. Winchell also will be open. He's still got the 1 5 facing him. Matera for the 10. He gets it. Winchell to keep the lead. He's 5 down now. He's both of these. He gets them. So it's a 5 pin lead. Final frame. Both bowlers open. Winchell at 106, Matero at 110. The matches are done, could please clean to the back so our people can come through and do cleanup in between matches. It's going to take a minute for the thing to calculate. If you would please let our cleaning crew come through and clean up all the mess and anything you trash we could throw out would be great. Appreciate it. So 569 to 564. Did you hear Ted DeBro? His closing remarks for the first string time. Matero crosses on to the two pin. 1 3 10 remain. Winch on a must mark situation. Really needs a, a spare and a good fill. Good bid. Nine drop. Three, four, five pieces of wood. The only thing that troubles me about that seven pin. Terrell trying for that pocket. Nope, he will be open. They'll need those pins. It's a five pin lead for the Prima Donnas. Winchell to convert. No, the wood. Well, it's still rolling, but the wood denies him. Five pieces of wood prevent. <laughs> And that will do it. A nine for Matero, 119 on the day. Mitchell to convert for the 10. And that is a 578 to 574. A four pin victory for the Prima Donnas in our bonus coverage. We'll be back here. And uh, is it nothing, nothing to lose? Gonna be coming? Who's your opponent? DX. Uh, VX uh, Nichols? The Nichols team. Oh, all right. So we'll be back shortly. I'm Bob Lee. I'll see you on the lanes. Take a couple minutes for the computer to calculate all the scores and everything. Uh, please let the people.